Hi all, I'm Ramachandran, the language trainer, comes soft skills trainer. This video is dedicated to all the people who are trying to learn English and want to develop their communication. Most of the students will be facing problem in tenses. So through these videos, I would like to teach and help the students to learn tenses in 10 days. This is the day one module in which we start with the tense one. Broadly, tenses are divided into 12 types. However, 10 are mainly used in our daily today communication. So now I would like to take you to the journey of tense. Friends, before I take up tense, I want to tell you, always remember in your mind, the best way to learn any language is to use it. The best way to learn any language is to use it. So, tense is broadly divided into three categories, present, past and future. So, in present tense, we have four modules. Today, I'm going to deal with simple present. Simple present, we daily use it. Uh, we use it for daily activities, present activities, universal facts, unique things. For, the, for this purpose, we use simple present. Now, let me tell you again, tense is used to denote time. So, generally we communicate with persons. So, persons are called as subject. So, we have first person, second person, third person. These persons are categorized as I, we, you, they, he, she, it. But when a person does action, we should know when an action is performed, whether in the past, present and future. So in that way, action means verb. So these actions are divided it into four types. Verb 1, verb 2, verb 3, verb 4. For example, I take the action word go. In verb 1 category, we get go as well as goes. Again, we have verb 2, went. Verb 3, gone. Verb 4 is used for continuity purpose. That is V4 is equals to V1 plus ing. Now, for the subject I, V, you, they, we use V1 form. That is verb 1 form either go or goes but for i we you they we are using this form without s or es but when the subject is he she it we take the verb in the first form itself but it would be the word with s or es for example if the word is go we consider the word with es word that is goes if it is come we consider the word comes so he she it takes the verb S form or ES form of verb. For example, I go to market now. But if it comes to he, she, it, we just take the verb goes to market daily. Now, we have seen the statements. Now, I want you to take the, I want you to understand how the question is formed. These are all the statements. We generally use it in answering or just as a matter of statements. Now, I would like to Go for questions. Yeah. Okay. So, I go to market is a statement but however I want to write the question form for this so always remember a question starts with subject and then followed by verb or helping verb sorry a, a statement starts with subject and then starts with helping verb but whereas in question it would go with helping verb first then followed by the subject so here let me tell you for that, we need to know the table. Always remember, V1 is equals to do plus V1. V1 yes or ES form is equals to does plus V1. Here, I go to market. So, this go can be written as do plus go. I got the helping verb. 
So I can reverse it. Do I go to market? This will be the question. Next, he goes to market. So goes can be split up as does plus go. The question form can be does he go. This is how the question pattern looked like. So this is how the simple present. We generally use it for daily activities and present or universal facts or unique things. So always remember the structure would be I, V, U, they plus V1 form. He, she, it plus V1, S or ES form. So you can practice this. And in my next video, I'll go for the next tense that is present continuous. Keep practicing and you will see a difference. Thank you.